yes uh, good evening everyone uh, what we are going to see now uh, it's a revision revision of letters so letters we need to revise now already i have taught you that all the types of letters uh, it is something you know very important letter writing uh, since we are in higher secondary senior secondary we need to you know standardize the skills of letter writing uh, when we talk about writing section so writing section we have uh, three types it's like you know it can be divided into three uh, short composition very uh, long composition and very long composition so for an example we can go for the short composition short composition uh, we, it, it, it consists of something for an example uh, notes writing and then uh, poster making then invitations and replies and of course advertisements so in short composition we are all uh, studying the four topics so notice writing advertisements and then poster making and invitations and replies long composition we have you know four types of letters we need to standardize we need to study and enhance all those things very long composition we need to study about article writing and uh, speech writing and the uh, debate writing and report writing so this is uh, letter writing we are considering that under the title writing section long composition so what is letter 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 writing is one of the most indispensable activities of modern society commerce tree official correspondence public representations complaints and other dealings and communications with common people are conducted through letters so letter writing is in this indispensable the types of letters in 11th and 12th standard we are just giving you these you know four types types of letters i'm just reading that you can also travel along with me first type we are taking that business letters or official letters so business letters are official letters so of course we can also divide business letters separately and official letters separately but i am just giving you for your clear understanding this is what cbc is insisting that that's why business letters are official letters so under the title what we have to you know it's like improve letters of inquiry or asking for information so under the title business letters are official letters uh, letters of inquiry we are inquiring that letters of inquiry are asking for, for information are replying to inquiry are giving information for asking information we need to give information or ordering or ordering or cancelling the order so ordering or cancelling the order letters of complaints we are just complaining or letters making request or appeals these things will come under the titles business letters or official letters the next one is Letters to school or college institutions authorities. We are taking that somewhere. You know, we will also uh, inquire related to you know regarding admissions or school issues or requirements or suitability of the courses. This role we will also, of course, we will communicate through correspondence with uh, those uh, school or college principals or institutions authority or secretary or the president. We will also ask. So the second type letters to the school or college or institutional authorities. Then. The third one is letters to the editor. So letters to the editor, it is very famous for me. You are all familiar with this topic. Letters to the editor. So letters to the editor regarding uh, letters to the editor giving suggestions on an issue. It is general, and of course, giving suggestions on an issue already raised an article, writing up in and published letters. Yes, excuse me. Yes, the third the third type of letters we are just saying that the letters to the editor. So giving suggestions on an issue, it is general, and giving suggestion on an issue already raised in an article. Then fourth one we are just giving you the revision job application with a resume. Job application with a resume or curriculum material we can go far by the time. So our four types we need to learn in senior secondary or high secondary in CBSC. So first one is business letters or official letters. Second one is, is letters to the school or college institutions. And the third one is letters to the editor. Fourth one is job application with curriculum material. So format, the general format of letter writing, we can just see that. You are all seeing now the general format of letter writing. Say in this address, first one, you can just do a framework. You know what is the meaning framework? You have to prepare a, a box. So first one is sender's address. So sender's address without name or you can also write the name. That is not an issue, but the modern format. So we have two formats like traditional format and of course modern format. Now we are all following the modern formats. That's why we are just avoiding from and using a colon and write the sender's address very properly. Then two with the colon. Then we are writing the receiver's address. Then we, uh, we are just changing the format. It, it has been changed. 
so we are using a modern format either we have to follow the traditional format or modern format but all the cbc schools are teaching only the modern format that means everything is left intent everything is left intent i will explain the concept you can also see that send us address without name then date with the format you are all seeing the display date with the format what is the format of date date we have to write you know just you know, for an example you are taking that uh, 25 25 uh, december 2020 so we are writing that 25 december or uh, december 25 uh, you can go ahead and that december 25th then uh, to, uh, 2020 like that uh, uh, december 24 december 23 december 22nd or any whatever it was we can use that right this is a format when we are writing a uh, date we have to follow the format the next to the date we need to follow receiver's address now the receiver's address we are all talking about only the formal letters so formal letters whenever we are writing formal letters we have to write the receiver's address with definite articles because for an example if you are writing a letter to the editor we have to write the editor so definite article compulsory we have to write because we are just a particularizing the things so we have to mention the definite article before the designation for an example the principal the manager the secretary the president you understand that so likewise we need to write so receivers address with the proper definite article then after completing your uh, receivers address you can go for subject subject it is like you know one sentence or you can go for two sentences that means you know short story we are writing for an example there is a saying in english make a long story short that means you know very simple it is like very simple and sample while reading the subject the receiver will come to know that what you are going to discuss in the letter you understand that the content of the letter or body of the letter so you have to write the subject in single sentence or you can go for one or two sentence but it should be you know minimization then after completing your subject you can go for reference reference if any you can write otherwise no issues you don't want to write reference on nil you don't want to need that. you don't want to write that if you want if there is reference you can mention otherwise simply you can go for salutation you know what is the meaning salutation salutation in the sense we we once you know followed of course you know respected respected we are only following in india right respected sir or respected ma'am or you can go for simply sir or ma'am or you can go for sir or you can go for ma'am or you can go for even dear sir also if you want you can write dear sir also but dear is informal form but nowadays it became it's like you know dear formal so informal letters also they they started to write we started to write dear so dear sir or just uh, you can write respected sir or you can simply go for sir or ma'am or if you wish you can also write dear sir that is also somewhat in a lovable one so dear sir or dear ma'am or sir or ma'am or dear sir slash ma'am anything you can write after your salutation you can go for the body of the letter or we are seeing the content content of the letter after completing your letter writing you can give thanks given right it's like you know it, it also one of the parts of complimentary close so you have to say thank you thank you also if you wish you can write thanking you but in the modern format simply we are seeing the thank you instead of thanking you and then complimentary close that means you are faithfully when you are writing you are faithfully you have to use the y should be in capital letter and f should be in small letter that is the format we have to follow that you ask why should be in caps caps uppercase and f should be in small lower case right then next to that write the sender's name if you wish you can send next to the name you can also so this is a general format once again i am saying that sender's address without name date with the formal receiver's address a subject a reference salutation then content or body of the letter then thanks given and then complimentary close and then uh, name of the sender we can also see some examples first one in a business of a piece of letters first letter i just i just want to share with you that letters of letter of complaint so letter of complaint i can read and explain you can also uh, with an idea whenever i am reading that if you wish you can also read the question and answers uh, letter of complaint the question two months ago you bought a desert cooler from ms home cooling private limited chanfura delhi you discover now you discover that it is not working properly write a letter to the manager customer care complaining about the malfunctioning of the unit and asking them to repair and if needed to replace it against warranty and the word letter words 125 to 150 this is a question you received so what is the answer we can write for an example send us address without name so rouse avenue ito new delhi date with the format 24 june 2020 or 20 and the wx you can use that 
the receiver address receiver's address the manager so t should be in capital the definite article and m should be in capital the manager the manager house uh, home uh, cooling private limited the particular home uh, cooling private limited jankpura delhi then receiver's address next to the receiver address the receiver's address we need to write subject subject what is a you know ultimate goal of the letter complain about malfunctioning receptacle so while reading the subject we will come to know that yes this is a complaint this letter is a complaint letter it's about malfunctioning desk cooler someone purchased you understand that we can easily understand the concept and the reference yes of course cash memo number we see the particular number particular day we need to mention because we have reference so that's why the sender has mentioned the reference in the particular answer of that particular question right you can see the salutation dear sir if you wish you can also go for respected sir no issues right dear sir i was to bring to your notice that kind notice that i had purchased or i purchased a cooler home desert cooler from you on the 17th of 17th of april 2020 like you can mention then in close bracket you can mention why the cash memo that particular number particular date you can mention the cooler functioned well in the beginning for one and a half months and then it started giving problem you need to you know you need to concentrate on the sentence structure the sentence pattern so sentences you have to concentrate that's why i'm just to display it and reading them that this is what we need to improve right so the problems are you can also you can you can go for a bullet point or you can also one by one you can go for one two three like you can also mention the problems are right come on water leakage heavy noise while working and high consumption of power high consumption of consumption of power the three three you know problems three things he just mentioned the writer has mentioned kindly take immediate steps to either repair the cooler or replace it as it still under the warranty period you understand that so thank you you are faithfully suresh send us me so the signature also will be mentioned if you wish so likewise we need to prepare a complaint letter it is a model based on that you can also so whatever you wish you can also improve and improvise and you can write the next one is placing order you can also see official letter placing order we need to you know we need to know that we need to improve and we can also order something we can also purchase we can also cancel the order so placing an order you are i know i'm just reading the question you can also uh, read the question you are anupar akriti of baron paul senior secondary school delhi write a letter to the sales manager abarna publishing house delhi placing order for books minimum four titles the, this is a condition we need to apply minimum four titles minimum four books we need to titles of books we need to mention so books for your library in one necessary details this is a question so we can also read the answer and get an idea the writer has mentioned that baron paul uh, power senior secondary school lucknow road delhi that particular pin code then date with the format then the receiver address the sales manager the number please house delhi right it is very clear you understand that in when we are writing receiver's address a definite article the sales manager the sales manager upper number pleasing house that means we are particularizing we are particularizing the sales manager of upper number pleasing house that's why delhi that's why we are mentioning the definite article so upper number pleasing house delhi subject books for the school library books for the school library dear sir salutation dear sir as a new session of the school is going to start next month we want your uh, to supply the following books for the school library at the earliest so that the students do not face any kind of inconvenience you understand that again i'm reading that as the new session of the school is going to start next month we want you to supply the following books so we are giving a table of order following books for the school library at the earliest so that the students do not will not face any kind of inconvenience So after that, you need to make a tableau column. You need to prepare a box. That inside, you have to mention the name of the books and then publisher and of course the class, a standard you need to mention and the quantity also. If anything, you can also add. You understand? You have the rights. You have all you know rights to write all those things, include all those things. Just name of the name of the book, Flamingo English N C R T twelfth standard and thirty copies. And then Vistas English Supplementary Level N C R T. the 12th standard and of course 30 copies and hornbill english ncrt 11th standard 24 copies
Reads and then uh, Snaps Out English Supplementary Reader NCRT 11th Standard 25th Purpose right even physics also you can go for chemistry also you can go for any any books whatever whatever you require you can also ask so please send the books to the school on any weekly that means any working days between 8 a.m to 4 p.m and you are also requested to send the bill after allowing the discount permissible for your school right and he was very clearly mentioning that payment will be made after the consignment that means you know the proposal the parcel so payment will be made after the consignment is received and checked by the library in charge of the school further please ensure the books are new you understand that we are just giving an intimation so further please ensure that the books are new if defects are found in the books the whole consignment will be returned without any payment so we are giving it we are just applying with the condition so for any inquiry from your side contact the other side thank you yours faithfully and of the library so likewise we need to order we have to order. if you want more polite you can also add no issues but anyhow you need to know the method of applying ordering 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 something right this is a second example the third example is letter of seeking permission so seeking permission this is also a piece of it right letter seeking permission the question i am reading that you can also find Write a letter to the principal requesting him or her to grant you permission to welcome the hockey team which has returned to India to winning. You are the head boy and the head girl. Now you can see that that centers twelfth uh, B head boy Saint Paul School, Lakhnapur centers address. And the date with the format twenty fifth April twenty twenty. The principal receive a address. The principal Saint Paul School and Lakhnapur. The subject welcoming the hockey team. Subject welcoming the hockey. Team. So easily the receiver will come to know that while reading the subject that welcome the welcoming the hockey team okay, which you know has won and of course returned to India. Then respected sir, you you can understand that through to the principal the writer has mentioned respected sir instead of instead of dear sir. So respected sir, through this letter I wish to request you to give us the opportunity to welcome the hockey team which has returned to India to winning. It is a matter of great pride for us. Hockey is a national sport. Students must be encouraged to take part in the sport which is being neglected nowadays. Of course, you know, we are just, you know, concentrating and involving in the cricket and, of course, even somewhere, you know, football or basketball or some of the games like instead of, you know, our national sport. So we need to concentrate. We need to involve. We need to create that, you know, enthusiasm and interest. So students must be encouraged to take part in the sport which is being neglected nowadays. The team will visit Ahmedabad on 30th April. And will stay here for the next three days. So kindly permit us to invite us to the team to our school on first May to felicitate. You know what is the meaning of felicitate? Encourage and honor and congratulate. So first May to felicitate the players who have brought name and made of fame to the country. This is a requestation. You understand that as a head boy, the writer has written. Thank you or thank you. You are faithfully to show all to be head boy. So this is an approach so you you could also see the sentence pattern and of course it should be more polite when we are applying when you are writing when we are applying for job application when we are requesting when we are applying higher authority we need to use politeness this is a way the head boy has written the sender has written this letter so we we can also identify the things the next letter comes next comes editor letter you can see that in a business or office letter school or college authorities we have written then it letters to the editor a letter to the editor the question i am reading that you are a social worker you are a social worker you are upset after reading a report in the newspaper which shows a shocking decline in the world child population world child population write a letter to the editor of the national daily highlighting highlighting the uh, highlighting the mis highlighting the misconception still prevailing in our society where girls are considered a burden on the family so sign the letter as rachi sarvapalli this is a very you know sensitive matter we need to you know concentrate look into the matter and we have to write the answers so a model i have given to you you can also go through that get an idea uh send us address without name for 441 ganapati apartments mm -hmm. delhi 27 march 2020 like you can write the editor the times of india the times of india we need to use definite article the, the Times of India, Delhi. The subject part, save the culture. 
that's all of course is make a long make a, a long story short that's all so we can one only one sentence easily we can understand it's like you know eye catching lens so save the girl child that's all it is like you know punch the like punch lines like save the girl child the dear sir dear sir you can go for respected or uh, no problem sir or ma'am dear sir through this letter i wish to draw the attention of people towards parental discrimination you can also see the you know sentence pattern sentence things and everything you can see that parental discrimination in their treatment of girls and boys it is happening it is of course happening nowadays in our society even even in modern india also even in modern world in the modern era also parent the parents are showing the parental discrimination because you know because of their love and affection so here parental discrimination may be related to their you know immaturity immaturity or something you know lack of knowledge so parental discrimination in their treatment of girls and boys girls are still consider a burden on the family we are thinking that girls are still consider a burden on the family due to this in many parts of our country a girl child is killed within the womb of the mother it's like you know totally it's brutal it is happening of course we cannot avoid we cannot oppose it is happening sir in india so a girl child is killed within the womb of the mother it is very cruel and of course heinous educated as, as well as and he, he, the writer is mentioning educated as well as uneducated and of course orthodox people can be seen outside a clinic queued up to do this heinous crime heinous crime in the sense you know it's like extreme level you know cruelty they are doing that so heinous crime it is high time where we should realize the importance of women they should not be confined within the four walls of the house as you know our practically bharati has rightly said that you know they should not be confined within the four walls they should in they should come out and of course they have to take up leadership they have to study and they have to of course you know achieve in all the all the all the fields and uh, likewise they are also coming forward and they are also taking we have you know we have a few we have a list we can also share so they should not be confined within the four walls of the house a nation's development is possible only when both educated men and women come to the forefront and help in the development of nation and very clearly the right to mention that so far our country has been dominated by males yes of course you know when you are studying uh, reading the poem and jennifer stiger's by arden bridge you might have understood you might have you, you can also understand the concept male chauvinistic society male dominated society chauvinism chauvinism or domination so that's why here the writer is mentioning so far our country has been dominated by males male dominated society is still it is knowing known as so but we can't forget the contribution of kalpana chawla sanya mirza aruna kesavan arindavi rao pv sindhu and so on to our country you can also go for it you can also prepare a list so but we can't forget the contribution of kalpana chawla sanya mirza aruna kesavan pv sindhu to our country and so on it is my humble request to the people to wake up and realize the importance of a girl child see it's not a burden let us take care of them and correct the gender imbalance very important line you can you could see that gender imbalance we should not show that you as a as an educated family members so let us take care of them the mission of girl child girl children and take care of them and correct the gender imbalance by caring for one's daughter as much as we do for our sons thank you Yours faithfully, Rupert. Right, sir. Let us study a bit. The way the writer has written, you can also follow. The last format you you could see is that uh, job application. So when we talk about job applications, sir, we have to understand job application can be divided into two parts. The first part we are saying that covering letter. The second part is curriculum letter. Now you can see that I am just showing that job application. There is a question. you come across an advertisement in the times of india for the post of pgd in english in north delhi school bangalore write an application to the principal with your complete resume right this is the question so pgd post graduate teacher in english post graduate teacher in english so send us address with our name 13 mg road bangalore 12th march 2020 the principal receives a test the principal or kd school bangalore subject it's like you know make a long story short application for the post of pgt in english so application for the post of pgt in english post graduate teacher in english pgt and dear sir our respected sir 
With reference to your advertisement in the Times of India, dated 11 March 2020, you wish to apply for the post of PGT in your school. I assure you that I assure you that if employed, I will work sincerely, responsibly, and with a full devotion for the betterment and development of your school. I have enclosed here with my resume with this script. It's a very short letter. If you wish, you can also wait for it. So whenever you are writing or covering with you, applying for a post of anything, you need to add with a reference to your advertisement. When in, in response to, with a reference to your advertisement, or in response to your advertisement, published, dated. So with reference to your advertisement in the Times of India, particular date mentioned, year also, I wish to apply for the post of that particular post to any village. And of course, end of the letter, we have to request, and of course, we need to enclose our resume or curriculum with a budget. Thank you. We are faithfully Neera Sharma. And now you are seeing a very ordinary resume. I preferred the Neera Sharma. You could see that resume in capital letter, and you, know, you have to prepare this a systematic arrangement. Uh, you have to do a framework divided into two parts. One which should be you know used to for your uh, resume. So left side, you have to write the sender's name, then phone number, mail ID, and of course, you know, residing address and everything. Then uh, you can start your Russian name, other's name, age or date of birth, nationality, languages, name, hobbies, university qualification, experience, personal stint, your friends. This is the way you have to write. Hey, Mira Sharma, Sandeep Sharma, 28 years, India, in English, Hindi, reading and writing. Then the educational qualification, when you are discussing that, the question is mentioning related to postgraduate teacher in English. So the candidate must have something in a completed B English, M English, Bachelor of Education, B -A. basic qualification. So according to the question, according to the post, we have to understand the concept and we need to write the educational qualification. So English teacher, so that we are writing Bachelor of Arts English, Joseph College with first division, M A Master of Arts English. Joseph College with this division, Bachelor of English, uh, sorry, Bachelor of Education. So when you after completing MA, you know, we need to add other uh, beer degree, beer in the sense, Bachelor of Education. That's a professional course for teaching uh, fraternity. So here, you know, beer, Bachelor of Education in Simonia University with first division. And experience, we're talking about that. You have to mention your experience. If you're a first hand, you can also mention email also you can write. So I have been uh, teaching English uh, in uh, St. Clark School for three years. Reference, you can go for some other head of the department or vice principal or uh, coordinator or principal or even you can go for president or secretary also if you have the close contact. You can also mention. This is a very ordinary decision. I, I can also say, I can also show another example. By Vidya public school belong urgently requires a postgraduate teacher to teach political science for which they have placed an advertisement in the Villa Express. You are Sanjay or Sanjana from 21, was in March Villa, dropped a letter including a CV applying for the advertised post. As whatever I mentioned in the covering letter, a same covering letter you need to mention. Only I am just reading the response of the content of the letter, you could see that application for the post of graduate teacher in political science. Respected sir, in response to your advertisement in the Bella Express dated 1st March 2020, I offer myself as a candidate for the post of postgraduate teacher in political science in your renowned school, renowned, reputed school. I am a young teacher, young teacher postgraduate with a beard from Government College of Education Bella. I have three years of experience in a reputed school. I will be highly obliged if you kindly consider me for the set post. My curriculum with you is enclosed here with for your kind perusal, for your consideration, for your reference. Mm -hmm. I look forward to attend interview at your earliest convenience. It is like, you know, we are just, you know, more polite and creating enthusiasm, interest among the leaders. Then curriculum within the second page, you can prepare like this. Curriculum within, you need to do a framework and you can write in capital letter. Then divide the page, paper, first of the page into two, like the name, father's name, address, data, witness, tenure, status, educational qualification. So when you are coming to educational qualification, you should prepare a table of all. For an example, exam, examination on college or board or university, then you are passing and percentage. Then your year of passing is very important. You have to calculate and write. For you know, undergraduate, you have to go for three years and then a master, uh, postgraduate, a master degree. 
for two years and of course even in beer also two years duration likewise we need to mention we have to calculate and mention percentage you can mention uh, even you know six, whatever you got the percentage you, you can mention then work experience of course personally working as a postgraduate teacher in political science in Madras Vidya Mandir since April 2015 and staying first to attitude to work then reference you can also go for some of the names of principals that are against your decision so likewise uh, uh, the role you have to you know standardize yourselves you you all you know learn you should learn that uh, learn the format whatever i have just you know gone through that and revised you can also follow all those things like you know business letters or pc letters and letters to the school or college authorities then uh, letters to the editor then job application with the curriculum with your decision so all the things are very important you while going through you will also come to know the things the techniques so if you know and if you need anything you can also contact me you can also ask me the questions you can also clarify but the system you should understand that format that's very common uh, hereafter you can also follow this format that means you know that is a standard format in cbsc that means send us address with our name name date with the format receive us address with proper definite article then send a subject then salutation salutation even in formal letter you can also use dear the first that means my dear plus the designation of the receivers you can mention that right then uh, content of body of the letter that is that is you know very short and simple towards the question you need to write we should not even extend that we should not repeat any relevant information we should not mention that should be very formal and of course you know uh, shambly work that should be very short and simple but whatever we expect we have to convey then a uh, thanksgiving a complimented close thank you and then complimented close was faithfully and you can go for respectfully also in our source even faithfully instead of faithfully you can go for truly trul way truly, truly also you can go for that no issues but whenever you're writing you need to follow the system whatever we have taught you then next to the complimented close you can mention that the name of the sender and if you wish you can also sign you can also do a signature you can also do your signature. I hope you revise and you all revise the chapters, let us four times in CBSE. In the next class, we will go for discovering that. Discovering that revision. I thank you all.